That's the British Imperial measure. And this is the Meridian Line. <laughs> Copper strip there. Looks like a lightning conductor. And there's Janet getting ready for a snap. Oh, is that Cardinal Wolseley up there? Yeah. I thought it was. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're so knowledgeable, Perry. <laughs> well, you know what he was famous for. He was a mathematical scholar. He helped put it all together, this uh, imperial measure plus the Millennium Line. Oh, yeah. There was an architect anyway involved in the uh, actual operation. It's the final countdown. Yeah. Where's the plug? Just unplug it. And Dad's just setting a watch. 12 cents. Yeah. British summertime. Summertime when the living is <laughs> accurate. Mm. Oh, I prefer uh, Cassio myself. Where is the Where is the and now the Meridian Line, the real one starts here. That's it, I'm half on one side and half on the other. Two faces at the same time. Gig up there. Yeah. Oh, it's so sunny.
Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. In yeah. when? Yeah. Yeah. Well, now. Mm -hmm. I'd like to gather round over here, ladies and gentlemen. I'll explain what's going to happen in just a few minutes. Post Meridian, 12.30 p.m. British Summer Time, which is an hour ahead of Greenwich Mean Time between May and October here in the British Isles. It's our daylight saving time. Uh, it's still 11.30 in the morning, Greenwich Mean Time, which stays constant throughout the year. So I'll bid you a good morning or a good afternoon, whichever way you like to look at it. I'll explain what's going to happen now. We'll take a walk around the courtyard here over the next 25 minutes or so. And as we go around during the course of this kind of pocket condensed history of the Royal Observatory. We'll find out more about the importance of this site, about the significance of this line, and hopefully a lot of the questions that you might have about the history of these buildings, hopefully these questions will be answered for you. If you wish to ask any further questions at the end of the presentation, then please feel free to do so. In the meantime, in the meantime, I'd just like you to relax and enjoy the show, which is entitled All the Time in the World. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Greenwich Meridian. It is the most powerful line in the world. It is the starting point for measuring time and space on planet Earth. And like the starting point of all scales of measurement, it is point zero, zero degrees longitude, the world's prime meridian. And this is an imaginary line that stretches right across the surface of the Earth from the North Pole, way over there, all the way down here through Greenwich, right down across the equator and down to the South Pole on the other side of the world. And there are an infinite number of these meridians around our Earth. We can put them wherever we like, but this one here today running through Greenwich is the one that all others are now measured from. So, welcome to the Royal Observatory Greenwich, the home of Greenwich Mean Time and the world's prime meridian. But why is it here in Greenwich? Why? I hear you all ask. Why? And why indeed, I'm glad you asked the stars. And the reason it was built was to enable ships to sail the seas of the world, to profit through trade, and then to return home safely. In short, to develop the art of global navigation. Now, navigation is the art of finding out precisely where we are in the world, especially if we are at sea. 
And as a navigator, knowing where you are is far more important than knowing where you're going to. And I'll let you all into a little secret here. The, the great early navigators, such legends as Vasco da Gama, Ferdinand Magellan, Francis Drake, Christopher Columbus, these people never knew where they were. In their day, they were able already to find their position of latitude, which told them how far north or how far south on the planet they had sailed by looking to the sun or the pole stars at night. But they had no accurate method by which they could calculate their position of longitude. They never knew for certain how far east or how far west they had sailed. And make no mistake, these people were lucky to return home alive in their day thousands and we can find this out by looking to the sun. When the sun is at its highest point clocks. in the sky each Pigeon perch.
all the Stalins. I hope. Did you go up them spiral staircases? Yes. I've just been over to the planetarium, but I've got it on photograph and it's not open at the moment, so we might as well carry on to where we're going. Off the market. Yep. Shopping. Let's yeah. go. Retail therapy. Okay, going down. Yeah. What is that for your mum? It's the Queen's house. Oh, very nice too. Which is there. It's right in front of us, the Queen's house. I thought that was... It's the, uh... No, it's not. It's the Queen's House. Oh, right. There's proof. So there's the Queen's House. Told you he told us wrong. <laughs> oh, he said it was the, uh... Naval College. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just making it up. He makes it up as he goes along, I feel it. Huh? I said, you, you've got a brilliant imagination making things up as you go along. The Naval College turns out to be the Queen's House. Oh, the Queen's House <laughs> is behind it. Oh, oh that is it there in front yeah. of it, looking. That big building there. I thought Queen's House was one with a clock. Why not show that postcard? I that thought that was Queen's House with a clock. See, there's Queen's House. Mm. Does she want another house for? She doesn't know. Keep going, Andrew. Oh. Put that. Look at that nail. Look at that nail that I'm going to buy off now. <laughs> He's a cruel bastard, isn't he? I didn't know he was like that. Oh, yeah. Pure old. Yeah, Might have taught me well, you know. Oh, my bag back there. Oops. We need some Walnuts. Got the lot here. Yeah. Uh, could I have a portion of Welch? There's a tray. Tray, yeah. Oh. oh no, what have you found? Come on, you're from down there. Get some jelly deals. What do you mean, what thank you? What's that found? Where's she from? She's from, you know them that beat your team? From where? She's from Leeds. Ah, oh, I can No, tell one, one. No, uh, yeah, it's tell one. Yeah, those, please. Oh, they're under. How much do you want? 150. Take yourself to the beach. How about this one? <laughs>
this new gardenist. So what is this thing? Uh, right out. No, it's the tunnel takes you to the other side, come out over there. You go under the water. Oh, great tunnel yeah. entrance. Great tunnel entrance. It opened in 1902. Oh, that's interesting. Great pier. And look at the sack again. See that plane? Oh, good plane. 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 Gone. That's going away, isn't it? So there's people walking under there now and coming out of that one. Coming out of the other side. Yeah, it's not too far, is it? We don't really need to be over there, do we? Markets, yeah. Quite a lot of markets. Just do the indoor ones, though. No, do the outdoor as well. Oh, yeah. That's... Yeah, do more. So we're not going to bother going up to the um, Hattie Mill, are we? Nah. Nah. No. Nah, it's, done, it's, it's not really yeah. rocking until Monday anyway, that. Yeah. It's on the kids' stuff. Sunday, Tuesday. Then we'd have to go back to the house to pick up the bags to go back. I've got a good idea though, what about some beer? After we've had some retail therapy. <laughs> retail therapy. <laughs> what? Oh, I've got to get some today. We can some little. You've got a postcard, that'll do. Retail <laughs> <laughs> Here we are at the Jipomoth. Diddy Coys. So have a cup of tea, of course. Of course. Into the beer garden, through the pub. No, they want your door first. Yeah. Uh, have a pint of uh, Carlsberg, yes please.
Looking in the wicket. Don't you think it looks like Phil last night? Shop house. Oh, yeah, look at that one. Profit pies. Greenwich Market. All right, shopping time. Hey, yeah, that'll do you. Village people. A little bit dubious about our filly. Bill Early, oh yeah. Oh, well, I might buy a couple of these. Just look for you went to market. Dodo? Yep, yeah, yeah, Bob. You got lost what? Meet here at this. Well, outside that. Outside the shop. shop. Hand it off. Oh, that's a good start for Janet Silver. Not boomerangs then. No, it's first piece. Oh, no. But they are boomerangs, really. Right? I thought you'd gone in the fish shop. Which one? I was going right around the outside. Alright, yeah. 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 Yeah, 
Oh, this is where I bought my records. Oh, right. And and one more for look, the Beatles, oldies, golden oldies. Three pound fifty each. Cheap. No. Well, I was a bit slow there, video, and Janet's just uh, <laughs> polished off. Uh, what was it, a Monet? A lobster Scampi Monet. Scampi Monet. Scampi Monet. Scampi. 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 A lobster Monet, and fish and chips, and oysters, and <laughs> let everybody's seen us eating, and they've all left. <laughs> Chandelier, that nearly broke. Got a chandelier, I missed that. It's, Phil carried a t one of these tables from over there. He hit the chandelier, the place was full, everybody freaked out. There was a Phil bit of stampede. Red. Phil went bright red, but he's alright now. <laughs> and a cigarette. See, he has got a conscience. And yet another building. I don't know what this one is, but it's just Church. outside the open market. Church. Parish Church. Oh, Greenwich. Greenwich. Granite, Granite Parish Church. And this, there's the famous Cafe Rouge. Cafe Rouge. Brilliant program. The boys. If you put your bag in it, you could take it on the train. No, I don't think that might Stuff around here. What, I think it's the it word kitsch. Kitsch? Kitsch. No. Not Yeah, give it a try. There we are in our Phil's local.